all right welcome back to the channel it's your boy Tori J and right now we're gonna make a video about custom phone cases now I got this case from five below this case is actually five dollars which is really good and it works really well I'll leave a link to it below but you also can find another clear case for cheaper do that there's no right answer right here so the main part about this we're gonna keep that plastic part to get all our measurements from now these calipers are standard 8 inch calipers I got mine from a hardware store I'll leave a link to them below they run about 35 to 40 bucks depending on the brand and what kind you want but I also leave the measurements down below so if you want to recreate them you can All right, now that we have our measurements, let's pick a design. Now I decided to go with Houndstooth because it's a more pleasing design to the eye and it looks really good with the different kind of shapes. so once we have our design we're going to take it into Photoshop and get it already prepped for the cutter and we're going to do our measurements from the iPhone case so we make sure everything is proportionate All right, now that we have our layout done and our template, we're gonna get ready to take this to the cutter and make the final touches and get this thing finally cut, weeded, and prepped for the final step. All right, now that we have everything cut out, it's time to do the weeding. Now, a lot of people like to use X-Acto knives when they weed, but me, I like to use a pick set. You can find a pick set from like Lowe's, Home Depot, or even online for really cheap. And when you're weeding, you wanna take your time to make sure you get even the small details. And if you try to rush sometimes, that'll cause you to mess up.
Now that we have everything cut and weeded, it's time for the transfer tape. go through with the squeegee make sure we get all the air bubbles out so we can get a full contact adhesion All right, now that we have everything weeded and taped, it's time to take our design and transfer it over to our case. Now with this process, you wanna take your time because this will take a little while to pick up speed. Now you wanna come back through with your squeegee. You wanna make sure that your vinyl is flat and smooth. All right, now that we have our case made, let's put our phone in there and let's see how it looks. And while I look at that custom case, no more boring phone, no more boring cases. You make anything that you want to make. Freedom of creativity. If you have any ideas, let me know down below and we'll keep it going. Till next time, I'm Tori J. Like, subscribe, follow me on social media, all right here. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll gladly to get back to you.